All right, so this is the video to show you how to apply the stickers from the DC, AKA Distinguished Competition Sticker Kit. So I thought a good one to do would be Metamorpho, since he uses the most amount of various sticker shapes and designs due to everything he's got going on on his character. So I'm gonna start by taking off the head because we are gonna do the torso sticker first. Peels right off sometimes. Sometimes the neck hole will start to come off with the sticker. It's not happening here. But if you see that to start coming off, just kind of push it through with your fingernail, hold it down with another fingernail, and then pull it off. Now, if you get to this point, you pull too hard, sometimes you might find the sticker will rip at these sharp 90 degree angles. So kind of be gentle. Get that off there real nice. Now, I know I've beat this to death, but I'm gonna say it's important to use a Sharpie around the edges because this white edge just screams, hey, I'm a sticker. But once we get a nice black edge on there, it blends into the figure much, much better. Now, I even like to do around the neck hole. Even though that's only visible from certain angles, I figure, why the heck not? Might as well make this thing look as good as it possibly can, right? Now, I am trying to limit how much I'm touching the sticky side, but a little bit's okay. So, we get the figure, we're gonna do a top-down view, because that's how I actually apply these. I actually give a little slight tug just to make sure it's taut. And then what I'm looking at is the distance between the shoulders and the sticker. There will always be just the tiniest, tiniest bit that the sticker can't cover because of the rounded edge. So I'm just looking to make sure that it's equal and to make sure that it's not bunched up around the neck on either side. So once that's done, I just run a finger around it. Sometimes you can use the flat edge of your finger as long as you're not scratching anything with your fingernail. Once that is on, I push down the front, smooth it out with my thumb, look to make sure it's not crooked, smooth down the back. Now for these wraparound sides, I find it's easiest to just take the arms off temporarily. Otherwise they just get in the way. You smooth those sides down. Now you wanna squeeze and hold the sides for 10 seconds. There's a lot of parts of the mini mates where we're gonna be doing this and this really helps the sticker adhere properly. I don't know if it was exactly 10, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna keep going. Get our head back on and we are gonna do the face sticker next. Now he also has a top of head sticker, which we would apply after the face, but the parts I provided here, if you got the deluxe kit already, doesn't have a hole there, so you probably don't need to even worry about it. Now, since this sticker is such a light color, the white edge isn't such a big deal. So this one I don't use a Sharpie on. This I like to go straight down, exactly like this. Get it between my index fingers, pull taut, just like the torso sticker. Aim for getting the top of the head in the right position. The bottom will naturally work itself out, but if you aim the top correctly, you can get it in the right spot every time. Once I get that straight like this, I do one side first, run my thumb around, make sure there's no wrinkles, run my thumb all the way around and press the other side down. And now I'll just give that a squeeze for 10 seconds. Do, 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 do. I won't do the full 10 seconds here. Now well, these two stickers here, you'll see that same shape repeated throughout the kit. Those are forearm stickers. So let's grab one of these guys. Sharpie it. Now I feel like the part of a mini mate that's the most visible as far as the forearm goes tends to be from about here to here. Usually whatever pose you have your mini mates in, usually this part's the most visible. So the seam of the sticker where one piece will overlap the other, I don't want it to be there. So I'm gonna start there to make sure the seam is not there. I'm gonna get it lined up perpendicular to the, where the hand goes on the wrist, push down a little bit to secure it, and then I wrap it around just like we did with the head stickers. Now these stickers have a little bit of give, so if you find a sticker going a little bit this way or a little bit this way, you can kind of wiggle it with your thumb and get it in the right position. Really important with these arm stickers, once you get it wrapped all the way around, 
to squeeze it for actually 20 seconds is better if you can. Just take your time with these. Getting that adhesive right the first time will go a long way to make sure the sticker does not pop up later. Next, I'm gonna put the belt on. Here is a trick for this. If you don't mind bending your sheet a little bit, this can get a little bit less sharpie on your hands. I take the sheet and I bend it right at the seam of where that sticker is. Then it's really easy to just run the Sharpie across it. These belts are so thin that if you do it the other way, if you peel it off first, you'll end up with Sharpie all over your hands. I'm gonna peel this off. I've got a very long, thin sticker here. The trickiest part here is getting the logo in exactly the right spot. I kind of just keep it on one finger and then I wait for my moment to strike. And once I see that it's perfect, bam, push down with my thumb. If you didn't get it right the first time, you can pick it up and try again. But otherwise, wrap around, wrap around, wrap around, fold over itself, squeeze for 20 seconds, which I'm not going to do this time, but I know you will. I know you're listening to me. Next, these are the thigh stickers, even though one is positioned one way and one the other. That was just so I could fit as much sticker goodness on the sheet as I can. Oh, here's a good, let's see if the video can show this. Every once in a while you'll get a sticker, you start to unpeel it, and you're like, well that ain't right. There's like fluffy stuff in there. Only part of the adhesive came off. That happens every once in a while. When that happens, just go to a different corner of the sticker, try from there, and it comes right off. I won't sharpie this one, you guys know about that. The thigh sticker has that little inlet there, which corresponds to the shape of a mini mate thigh. Get that lined up, press, wrap around, hold it, hold it. More than I just did, of course. Boot stickers, same deal. Peel it off, I'll pretend to sharpie around it. I like to position it first in the front. A lot of these stickers will have some sort of musculature that kind of helps you line it up, but otherwise just center it. And wrap around just like all of our other stickers. And hold. The leg stickers are the ones that pop up the most, so this is where holding becomes the most important. So those are all the base stickers. The one weird sticker in this set is right there. That is the coattails of Zatanna's suit coat. I like to keep mini made packaging, empty packaging around because I need this plastic for a lot of customs. So you can take each of these coattail sticker pieces and apply one to each side of this mini made packaging. So I flip it over. Now these line up with the two points at the bottom. Don't line it up with the top. And I'll show you why here in a second. These are different sizes from each other. So I'm gonna line it up with these two points at the bottom. It doesn't have to come out 100% perfect. When you do that, you'll see there is this space that one of the stickers didn't cover. And you're like, Luke, you screwed up, man. What's going on here? No, I did not. That is where the super glue goes. So I'm gonna cut this out and we're gonna go from there. One second here. So with these, sometimes you'll find it easier if you cut out the outside of the whole shape first and leave a little extra and then come in and do this inner part last. Now you might notice I did not sharpie these edges when I applied the sticker. This one wait until after you have it on the plastic because a lot of times you will be cutting into the sticker a little bit when you're cutting this out and you'll just have to do it all over again. So I wait until it's already cut and applied before I sharpie around all the edges. So this will get glued here on her buttocks at the top of the hip piece. If you want to make it a better connection, always take a X-Acto blade and just make a few scratches on the place where you're going to be connecting it. 
I prefer Loctite super glue, but do whatever super glue you like. Don't use too much. This is such a small, thin piece, you really don't need a lot. Now you can get that glued onto her. So that should be everything that you guys need to know about this. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, I hope you love the kit. I hope you make some awesome customs. And there will be a part two of the DC sticker kit coming in the spring. Thanks for watching.